my last lecture video, the last words that I have as a high school senior, the last words I give to the classmates of 2017, and anybody watching this video. The way I'm doing my video is one take, no cuts, no editing, anything. Um, the only reason I have the music in the background um, is because I'm pretty sure it was one of the requirements. But the reason I'm doing this is because behind all the edi editing, the changing things and covering things with other things, it shows that we're not perfect. And I'm going to mess up in this video. I'm going to screw up. I'm going to do things stupid. I'm going to look stupid. But I'm going to leave it in the video. I'm going to pause and we're going to start over. We're going to have a laugh about it and it's going to be that. The reason I want to do this because I want you all to know that I'm not perfect. I, don't, I have problems, struggles, and situations that I deal with even though I don't talk about them. For my video I have little notes here to keep myself on track so I don't babble too long. We're going to start with who I am. Well. Obviously, my name is Jacob Tamley, but who you are goes beyond your name and your title and all that. Um, I'm a child of God. I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior in a public in a public manner, and I live every day for Him. I'm a United States Army soldier. I serve my country proudly, and I wear that American flag like it's. Like, it's part of my skin, I guess. Um, I have six half-brothers, I guess. No, not I guess. <laughs> I have six half-brothers. Um, one of them has autism. He has a... If you're not aware of what aut autism is, it is a disorder where the kid has a hard time functioning in certain situations, I guess. I'm not... I don't have the big definition for it, but... Yeah. So if you hear any music in the background besides my music that I'm playing, it's probably him. We're going to start with what I think happiness is. Happiness to me isn't a defined thing. Of course, there's definition in the in the in the big book of definitions, but honestly, it's a personal thing. The way I, the way I think it is is because I could find happiness in something, and then the next person not find happiness. I can find happiness in God. He is my happiness every single day. And the next person might not think that. Why does he believe in that? No, no, no. Just go on and on about it. I have a playlist going, so it's just going to go to the next song. Um, happiness is for you to find. Yeah, ads. Um, happiness is for you to find. It's a pursuit of happiness. We all know about that. It's pursuit of happiness. So, you happiness being something that you truly love, I guess. All right. My next thing is advice for any individual watching this video. Me being a subdued person, I observe and watch and listen and understand more than you'll ever know. Um, I'll sit at my desk all day and just listen to your conversations. I know it sounds weird, but honestly, there's nothing wrong with it, honestly. If you're subdued, I commend you because it's honestly tough, in all honesty. Um... I don't like talking when it's not needed. So, that being said, I would like to see more people subdued. Not saying stuff when they shouldn't. Not speaking out when they should. Not saying the loud, um, being that normal loud person. Just listening and understanding before you speak. It also goes along with my favorite Bible verse, Proverbs 10:19. Too much talk leads to sin. Be sensible and keep your mouth shut. I also have a bit more of advice. Find God in your life. Truly find Him. 
as I was going into my sophomore year, my freshman year, I was lost. I was confused and weak, and I didn't know what I wanted to do in life, and I didn't know how to be. But once I started getting into my Bible and reading and understanding how God wants me to be, that allowed me to push out what the world wanted, not be what the world wanted me to become, and I guess be the complete opposite, to be honest, because Jesus said, don't be afraid that the world hates you because it hated me first. So if you hate me, you truly despise how I am, you hate the fact that I make these rash com comments on when it comes to religion, good. I, that was my plan all along. I wanted you to hate me, honestly. Um, my last bit of advice is truly slowing down. Just slow down and smile. Just find peace in every single day. Struggle isn't truly something that we have. It's something that we create, I feel. And struggling isn't exactly a bad thing, per se, but if you struggle, it shouldn't be who you are. It shouldn't change your day. It shouldn't change how you act around the people that you love. Just take your time and slow down each day and understand that God changed your life this day. And that God put you on this earth for a reason and for a purpose for you to carry out his will and not yours my last point for this is explaining why I am the way I am why I'm so quiet why I don't like talking why I don't like participating in school events um throughout my high school career I didn't participate in any school activities honestly I didn't go to one prom I didn't go to one dance I, I went to the military ball that's it because it was a grade um I didn't I didn't do any big fundraisers I didn't do anything I backed off completely I became quiet basically subdued removed from my situation I got my grades and I got up out. I was done. I'm, I didn't do it. When I think about why I was the way I was, it was because seeing the way kids grow up and come into high school and think that this is supposed to happen, that's supposed to happen, these people are supposed to be your friends, these people are supposed to treat you a certain way, I figured out that that's not important at all. How one thinks of you is not important. Um, I truly just like looked at it and understood that if one person insults you, makes a rumor about you, they're truly just thinking about you because in my eyes personally, in my situation, I've never, I don't, I try, I really do, I try to stay out of drama. I've, I cannot stress that enough, I've tried so hard to stay out of drama, but it finds its way around you, it wraps around you like a freaking snake, and it just bites, it poisons you, and when you truly try to get to, get away from it, there's a different piece, there's a different piece in your life. Um... So I truly want to credit my high school experience and my high school situation and all that to the JRTC program at Butler. It's given me my life, my career, and what I'm going to do for the rest of my life basically for a good 25 years if, if God willing my body doesn't give out and stuff. But the JRTC program, it truly changed my life because going into high school and coming in as a football player, sort of basketball player, I didn't know what I wanted to do outside of sports. I was lost. I wanted to be a police officer. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it just isn't 
ideal for a person. Of course, it's beautiful to be a police officer. Like, I, you have my full respect. But financially, it's it's not secure. Um, it's not safe. Well, not that what I'm doing is safe anyways. Um, I jump out of airplanes. So. Um, it just didn't seem rock solid like I wanted it to be. And then joining the program at our, over there, it just gave me a foundation to build on and in the yearbook it says that the ROTC program is meant to put individuals in the, in the military it's not at all it's not meant to put you in the military at all if you're a freshman or sophomore or junior watching this video please understand that the ROTC program is not to put you in the military the mission of the ROTC is to motivate young people to become outstanding citizens it's supposed to build you as a person in the society that we live in. The disgusting society that we live in. So yeah, that's how I feel. My high school last lecture should go. There's not much more I have to say other than I made it. I made it through high school. I'm done with it. I don't have to go back. It's... It's truly a blessing. God truly blessed me. So thank you for listening. Thank you for understanding what I had to say. And thank you for truly being just there to listen, I guess. I don't I don't know. I'm not very good on the closing stuff, so I'm gonna just end it. <laughs>